here we go battery is totally running low hey guys welcome welcome back to my youtube channel and welcome back to vlogmas day 21 yes that's correct Yesterday's vlog must take get canceled due to the fact that I was at Emily's house for just to spend the night and then go get my nails done for my birthday. Gonna have a birthday lunch, but um, that just couldn't happen. But anyway, so we got my nails done for her birthday today. It's December 22nd, 21st. Tomorrow's my birthday. It's been very stressful because I've had so many photo shoots to do. It's just a lot. But today's video is pretty simple. Tomorrow and the rest of the year's videos, vlogmas are going to be extremely amazing. I'm super excited because those are when the holidays like are here. Today I'm going to be um, answering your guys' assumptions. I've seen some pop up on my notifications. I have not looked at this since I posted this. Let me see how many days ago. Two days ago on my community tab. I'm nervy. So let's go ahead and get straight into answering your assumptions. The first one is you're really nice in person and kind to everybody. So I will say this. Me personally, I feel like I'm a very nice person. If you're nice to me, I'll be nice to you. I can be very rude. I can have the biggest attitude ever. And I'm being brutally honest with you guys because you deserve to have the honest truth. But the answer is I'm very nice if you're nice to me, but if you're rude to me, I'll try to be nice. But if you're even ruder, I'll literally gain an attitude and it's horrible. I have my mom's attitude. I have my mom's judgment. I have my mom a lot in me, but it's not really the best. To be honest the next one is you are a bit shy the answer is no well actually with people i don't know i am kind of shy however i do keep a smile on my face to make it seem like i'm not but i am very shy and shaky i have a lot of anxiety and so it's like scary but also it's like a nice to meet you type of situation you love positivity i talk about positivity everywhere i try to be positive in every situation but sometimes i always find that little negative with the devil inside of me trying to kill the positivity but i try to be positive everywhere i go and if it does not happen it's definitely the devil and then i just pray to god that it just goes away i'm a geeky prayer for me it's just like i try to just explode positivity out in this world because this world is very scary and it's i don't know also by the way i'm wearing pajamas because i literally six and go to bed but that's not happening we had to vlog you've gone through a lot the answer is yes i've gone through heck and back it it's tough gone through a lot i lost my real dad and the other thing I'm not going to say on the internet, but I'll let you guys know that this is something I'm fine with saying is that I was like, I don't have a real dad. You know, I have stepdad. I've had two actually, but it's something, it's not really supposed to be shared publicly in my heart. I don't really want to, but it's been stressful. Um, I might make a video about my story, but I just feel like it's very uncomfortable for me to say it right now because I get emotional and I have very deep thoughts. I overthink absolutely anything. So like anytime that topic comes up or like my friends say your dad, it just like shocks me. Next one, you have a sister. The answer is yes, I have a stepsister actually. She, her name is Olivia. She's coming over on the 27th to have our Christmas with us because she lives somewhere else, but it's a Corey's daughter. You are friendly. I am very friendly. I love to make friends, but sometimes I can be very judgmental and the way you treat other people, I'm like, I don't want to be your friend. It's that type of situation. You can see. I can. I'm on the worship team at church. I love singing so much. I was Moana in this year's play for Moana at eighth grade. Yeah, 8th grade year I was Moana. You have a lot of friends and you're popular. So the answer is I don't have a bunch of friends. I try to be friends with everyone, but I'm, I mean, I have, I'm friends with a lot of people. And my personal, like, close friends just disagree with the fact that I have all those friends. But I like to be friends with everyone because you never know what they're going through. And even though they might not be in a good situation or they're bad, does not mean you judge them. Off of what they do and how their actions go does not mean you judge them. Like I said, I am very judgmental, but I feel like everyone deserves to have a friend to be there for them, if that makes sense because I never gotten that opportunity without it just going everywhere. Anyway, I just try to be friends with everyone whether or not my close friends like it or not. The next question is, you have been through so a lot so you're more prepared for life and make decisions really well. The answer is yes. Like I said, I've been through heck and back. I'm more prepared for life than ever. I've never felt more independent in my life. I feel like I can do everything by myself and I tell my mom and I tell my geeky, I tell everyone this, I'm independent and I can do this. Those are my exact words. I'm independent and it might get on my nerves but it might like seem like I'm saying it sarcastically but I'm being so for real, I'm independent. So if you tell me there's no way you're gonna put a Christmas tree up, I'm independent, I can do that by myself. There's no way you're gonna succeed in life. I'm independent, I can do that. And as you can see, I've gained 30,000 subscribers. We've gained over 25,000 subscribers within a year. I'm independent and I can do this. And I believed in myself and look where we are. And I'm so beyond thankful for God that 
this fast that I did in the beginning of the year, which I'll actually share at the end of the year, got me here. You're pretty awkward and introvert unless you're close with friends. I'm very awkward in front of people. Like, it's a very awkward moment. Very awkward. You love frozen yogurt. I love frozen yogurt. The one I like specifically is like the banana one. I don't know. It's from Menchie's. It's so good. You have brothers. I have two brothers. I have Brody and I have Axel. They're both my real brothers. And Brody is nine and Axel is like eight months. You love Disney movies. I love Disney movies. If you asked me if I wanted it to be a lead musical it has to be a disney movie like moana the only reason i tried out for a lead because of moana the next assumption is you have a really good relationship with your mom the answer is I i'm not sure i have a pretty good relationship with my mom and a lot of people i see on the internet have the best relationship and i wish i could have that but we go through our ups and downs but i love her with all my heart and our relationship's pretty decent however there's bumpy roads we're a few years apart she had me when she was 17 i'm pretty sure so i think we're 16 years apart i'm not I mean, i'm not sure how many years apart we are but i think it's 16 or 17 but it's been a bumpy road but i have a good relationship with her just not which we're not at 100 yet the next question is you are well fit and work out a lot i work out every day in the morning get up at six and then start at seven go to nine for basketball and same with off season what i do every day when it hits summer we were i'm not sure i'm always in bed <laughs> if you count swimming as an exercise the next assumption is you enjoy school the answer is no i do not enjoy school the only part of school that i enjoy is absolutely nothing i hate school and honestly brutal honesty school drains me it is horrible the next question is sometimes you have days where you feel pretty other days you don't that is exactly great you understand me i mean like honestly sometimes i feel pretty and sometimes i don't you enjoy baking um i love baking baking is really fun however i'm not like the best at following directions and being patient if that's what you mean you've got a secret boyfriend the answer is no i actually have no boyfriend and it's gonna stay like that for a while because success is more important than having a boyfriend that's gonna play you okay next question is you're popular at school the answer is no even though i have x amount of followers does not make me popular or any more different to me i'm not going to put myself as that position i may say yes i am jordan Wall, and that's because that's the name i created when i was young but that's not going to make me any different i'm never going to put myself to be more different it just feels very unfair to people and there's no way i want to be popular because the popular girls in my school is something you don't want to look at like that's not they're not an idol you want to look at you have two brothers i don't know why but i can feel it the answer is yes i have two brothers axel and brody you love collecting things like perfume and body hair the answer is yes i love collecting perfume it is literally like my dossier collection is out of this world it's a huge you're confident in school so i'm not very confident there's a lot of people that drain me oh jordan look at your hair jordan look at your makeup jordan look at this jordan look at your body there's a lot of judgmental people at school and that's what ruins body positivity the whole point is for you to be positive about your body and like know that you're god's creation and god created you like this and this is what you look like and you're going to stick with it because you're beautiful no matter what that's why i always hit the end of my video just in case any of y'all are struggling you're fearfully and wonderfully made you're beautifully and wonderfully made you are fearfully and beautifully made i mix up those words just so you know that you are beautiful okay next assumption you can dance okay anyway so no <laughs> you're good at drawing i'm pretty decent at that actually i love doing arts and crafts when i was little but now i'm like whatever but no i can't really like draw draw you love your curly hair i'm 50 50 about my curly hair when it's curly and it's good on that day then i love it when it's not curly enough then i'm like i hate it because yeah, it's just like i don't know how fear about my curly hair it just hasn't come to me yet and i don't know when it's gonna come to me you play volleyball answer is no i kind of wanted to but my mom didn't allow that you play basketball dancers yes i have my mom's basketball number 15 and y'all might think that's like that's a toxic relationship with your mom that she's not letting you do this but making you play the sport that she played the answer is i feel like it's more that she didn't want me like to wear the spandex and i agree because i felt uncomfortable anyway you like coffee better than tea i don't drink coffee actually so i drink matcha or um chai tea a lot so yeah you're tall i am five seven i think I think I'm 5'7". 5'7". 5'6", 5'7". I'm 5'7". I don't know. I'm not... I'm taller than my mom, my giggy, but I'm not that tall. Your favorite color is pink. My favorite color is pink. No other color will be that. Pink, white, and blue, and purple. So that is all the assumptions for today's video. This video probably was very boring, but it's the only video I could film before the holidays come because the schedule for the rest of the week is tomorrow, what I did on my birthday, what I get for my birthday, a Christmas vlog, and then what I get because there's four days till Christmas, right? 
four more vlogmas this is what that is so there will be four more fun videos and the rest of them will be like new year stuff and new year's resolutions but i'm super excited because tomorrow's my birthday and i'm just like really tired and just like want to go to bed because like i've been at the nail salon all day no joke like literally went out at 11 and didn't get back till four like that's what it felt like it feels like forever but i'm very tired i need to clean my room i have so much to do i gotta edit this video but i hope you guys enjoyed this video anyway of me answering you guys' questions and i love you guys so much make sure to like subscribe and turn on your post notifications that way you do not miss the next four vlogmas that are coming up that i hope you guys enjoy and thank you guys so much i literally cried the other night for thirty thousand. a lot of my friends and family don't realize that that's a the biggest goal and i'll talk about my story later during the new year's but it i'm so thankful thank you guys so much i love you guys so much remember you are fearfully and wonderfully made don't let any other person tell you what is right what's wrong with you you are perfect that's it for today's video and i love you guys so much bye